creamy, rich chickeny rice. This is one congee where I have a few little tricks up my sleeve for making it an even better version. This is my version of Chinese chicken congee. You know, I think every Asian kid, you know, their mum's congee, like my mum's was a Thai version, which is similar to this, not quite the same, but like this kind of congee rice soup thing is like the ultimate comfort food. Mm. A classic Chinese congee is one of those like ultimate comfort foods. And there are a couple of little tricks though to getting it really perfect when you're making it at home. Uh, and a couple of little shortcuts as well, of course, that I have to make things a little easier. Let's start off with the broth first of all, because this the broth really is like the heart and soul of a congee bowl. I have a couple of little tricks here for getting the broth really tasty, but also ending up with really good chicken. So first of all, chicken. I am using a whole chicken here that's going to go into my big stock pot. And then here's a little secret. I am going to use some store-bought chicken stock. Yes, I know we've got a whole chicken and we could simmer this for hours and make a chicken stock from scratch. The problem with that is when you boil your chicken for too long, you get really tasteless chicken meat. And I want both, good broth and good chicken. So the chicken stock means that we can allow our chicken to cook a little bit less but still have a very chickeny broth. All right, now the other thing we want to do is we want to flavor up everything. So I want to get some ginger in there. And for me, ginger and congee is like, you know, it's, I mean, you've got to have ginger. The ginger is part of the comforting feeling that you get. And then let's go in with some spring onion as well. Just slice a few pieces. And if you've got like spring onion sitting in the bottom of, of your, you know, cabinet in your fridge, this is a good way to use it up. Goes in. And then you want to bring this up to a gentle simmer. Don't hard boil it because again, the idea here is I want really good chicken meat. So gentle simmer for about 40 minutes or until that chicken is cooked. Mm, okay, so this is already smelling so comforting and beautiful. It's amazing what just a small amount of ingredients like ginger and spring onion and chicken can do. Now, I did turn this guy over about halfway through just to make sure that we're cooking the breast side through. And it's about a 1.2 kilo chicken. So if yours is much larger than that, you can get up to like two kilo ones, then you might need to simmer for an hour, but we'd definitely not go over an hour. Um, now, I just want to pull this guy out. If you want to check if your chicken is cooked through, really easy here. Just poke your knife into where that leg joint meets the breast and as long as those juices are running clear, then you're all good. So that's looking really good. Okay, now let's get back to our broth. Now what we're left here is with something very tasty but a little ugly looking at the moment. I just want to skim off some of that gunky stuff at the top. Now you don't have to be too pedantic about it because we are going to flood the entire thing with some rice grains and we don't need like a very clear, you know, fine dining consomme or anything. Um, so that's looking pretty good. Now I just want to strain that off into a pot. And now we're ready to add our rice. So typically with Chinese congee, you would use like what's called a broken rice. So the rice grains are actually broken, which means they're, they're more easily, they sort of more easily come apart and the texture is very kind of sticky and thick, almost porridge-like. Well, I know broken rice is not really typically found in most supermarkets around the place and you can get Japanese rice or sushi rice in most supermarkets these days. So much easier to find. So that goes in with our stock. Now turn the heat up and you want to simmer this for about 90 minutes are until those rice grains are really thick and plump and everything is looking, well, looking like congee, really. Um, come back and stir it every so often just so you don't get anything burning or sticking on the bottom. Okay, wow, things in here are smelling so beautiful. There's always, it's always a little magic in the air when there's something chickeny like simmering on the stove top. Um, all right, this is looking really good. Now, this actually only took me about an hour and 10 minutes instead of an hour and a half. It does tend to kind of vary with different brands of rice, uh, time, you know, days, months, seasons. I don't know, it's not an exact science, but what you're looking for is this kind of texture here, really thick. Those rice grains should be almost like, you know, non-existent, they shouldn't be grains, they should just be one kind of homogenous, comforting, chickeny 
mixture, I guess. Uh, so that's looking really good. Now, what I wanna do is come back and have a look at the chicken because the whole reason we cooked this the way that we did was so that our chicken would be really nice and juicy and moist. So if you have a look there, you know, I'm pushing down on that chicken and it still looks beautiful and tasty and you know if we'd simmered it for hours it would kind of look dry and not very appetizing so I just want a few slices of chicken here now I want a nice generous bowl full of that lush congee and then my chicken and just a few final little bits and pieces here we want a little bit of finely sliced ginger some spring onion and then just a little drizzle of soy sauce. And there you go guys, a really classic Chinese congee, but we've done it in a way where the chicken is still really tasty and juicy, and we still have the most amazing little tasty broth. Um, but let's have a look and let me see just how well we've done at achieving that. Wow, I've been so looking forward to this. You know, I think every Asian kid, you know, their mum's congee, like my mum's was a Thai version, which is similar to this, not quite the same, but like this kind of congee rice soup thing is like the ultimate comfort food. Mm. Mm. Honestly, like just, just wow. And so it's just like a big hug. It really is, it's like a, oh so comforting and chickeny. And you know what's really great is, you know, it really is cooking that chicken for not as long as you would think really makes all the difference. Mm. The texture of that rice is really soft and smooth and creamy and this is totally all the things. Yum!